Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I thought we'd do our first colouring in Tom Fletcher's The Christmasaurus and the Naughty List. And what I discovered was I got some satin glazing liquid, golden. Um, it's actually an extender for stops acrylic paints drying out so quickly, but if you put it on the page it will create a uh, barrier for water. But in this instance, what I want to do is um, actually use it to um, thicken the paper slightly, give us a little bit more tooth to put some more layers on because it is really thin. So, I've got a little spare plate here and my golden satin liquid glaze and I am just going to, tiny little bit on the plate, I'm going to take any old paintbrush and I'm just going to quickly coat it and I'm going to coat it all round because I w maybe want to put a little bit of background on him because there is some snow and things there and this is, is quite smooth compared to some um, um, paint extenders you can get or sealants that you can get but there is a little bit of tooth to it when it dries so this will help us put our pencils down um, with more layers if that makes any sense so what I'm thinking um, was that I did have um, let me see I don't think what it is that I had. I can't think of. I can't think of the word. Oh, I had um, gesso. Is what I'm thinking. Like um, a clear gesso. And I had a, I had gesso, but that is so rough when it dries. It's like sandpaper. That um, and I didn't want that texture in the book. Hopefully, you can pick up that. At the moment that's quite shiny but it does dry matte and you won't even see it so I'm just going to put a good coat of that down so if you do do this and you decided you've got this book and you've decided you'd like to use watercolor mediums once this is completely dry you would be able to put water on this paper and it won't go through there so now that's it I just wanted to show you that I'm using this um, and I'm going to let that completely dry and then we're going to come back and we are going to colour our Christmasaurus in the colours from the book and hopefully that will work to give us a really good base so I'll be back very shortly and we'll get started when this is dry see you in a second Oops, sorry about the camera shake so okay so it's dry and you get like a, a slight grain on the page I've got a bit of a crinkle at the moment but I did do the front one and tested it and it dries absolutely fine as long as the book's been shut. So I thought if we did the dragon we can record the colours and keep it and every time then he appears we can, no he's not a dragon is he, he's a Christmasaurus. Um, every time he appears in the book we can use the same colour combo and then I can go through characters instead of the whole book with you and um, that way we can do it together um, and complete the book. So if we look at the front cover he's almost got a purpley blue face so we're gonna mix some colours together to get that appearance. So the first colour I've picked and you'll have to excuse my small prismas is getting desperate they're on my Christmas list um, for presents. Um, <laughs> because it's getting desperate and I excuse my uh, fingers as well um, okay so we're going to use grade lavender this is and it is if I can get it out of the glare for you it's 1026 and I'm going to put a coat on his face um, and then we'll blend in the other colours but you, I'm, I think you'll be able to see the dramatic difference that putting down this base as long as it's absolutely bone dry makes to um, colouring on this paper because it is very thin it's storybook paper um, but it makes a huge difference 
I did coat our little bare bum boy so I can go back over him where the paper wouldn't take the colour. So I can go back over with Prisma and sort that out. But what a difference, that sort of just lays down beautifully then. And it's just, I think that was, um, that great big bottle was £12. And you could use gesso, but gesso is very gritty and would wear your pencils down very quickly. Whereas this just has a slight grain to it. Okay, so I've coated him with a little bit of greyed lavender. Probably gone overboard, but we'll go back with some white. Then I'm going to take lilac. If my camera will focus. There we go. 956 lilac. And we're going to do round his eye, where the darker areas are around his eye. Just I'm just doing it lightly. I just want that darker colour around here. So the good thing about this book is 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 slightly grayscaled. So we can follow those darker areas with the lilac but lightly. Okay. Around his little eye. And we can bring a little bit up around this side of his face. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to start going in with some more bluish colours. So here I've got Blue Violet Lake, which is 1079. And where I've put that violet, was it violet or lilac, lilac in, I'm going to go over with the blue, again lightly. We haven't got much manoeuvre for too many um, layers, but with this, the satin glazing liquid over the top, it's like different paper, it's incredible. So I'm just going to go over that, which will give us our little bit more of a purpley hue when we mix them all up. I apologise, a little bit more of a bluey hue is what we're looking for. We just go over that. I hope this works for people now I've told you this. <laughs> but as you can see, it's responding so much better than when we just went in straight on the paper. It's, it makes a huge difference. Okay. I'll bring that out a little bit further. Right, now for our deepest shadows, we're going to use Imperial Violet, which is 1007. But I want to bring in our white, my stubby little white, which is nine, uh, yeah, 938 white. And I'm going to blend that through. So I'm just using little circular motions just to blend all that through. And the paper's responding really well. So much better, so much easier. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the grade lavender which is, if it's not glaring at you, 1026. And I'm going to put that back over. So actually, I said we don't have too much manoeuvre for layers, but it's working well. So that's going to be a bit of a game changer, isn't it, for what books we can colour in, really. There we go. And we are now going to bring in the Imperial Violet 1007. <clears throat> and I'm going to go around his little eye. Bring that out. And his deeper areas. Like this. Let it fade out so that we can blend that out. Okay. 
So I hope you're all okay. Um, so depending on how this video is received on YouTube, I'm going back to Blue Violet Lake, so I'm just going to keep layering him up. Um, we can go through the characters and colour them so that you can then go through the book using the same colours. Um, so depending on how it's received, whether you guys are joining in with me and watching or not, will depend on whether I carry on doing it on YouTube or not. If um, it's not doing so well, my plan would be to um, just put a video up on Facebook and do it that way. Right, I'm bringing in, um, I don't know what colour this is actually. Let's do this one because I can't see what the colour is. So I'm bringing in Cloud Blue, which is 1023. And we are going to put that, a layer of that over. It will knock back the brightness, but keep that blue. Oh, I'm really pleased with how that works. And then any features we can go back in with um, a pen to darken it up. I'm just smoothing this all out with this, what did I say it was? Cloud blue. So, folks, my friend Nix, that I chat to on Instagram and follows us as a friend of the channel. Um, she's brought stuff for us to use on the channel before. And I, I, I do talk to her quite a lot on Instagram. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. Messaged me today and said, Hey, Lucy, Black Widows are on sale on Amazon UK. Go over and grab them if you want them. <clears throat> so I'm now going back to our Imperial Violet and just putting those dark places back in. I know it's a bit of a faff, but it will be worth it. Um, yeah, so I went over and grabbed them. I think I paid £12 for them. Because there are only a set of 36. Um, so I'm so excited to be getting those. I can't wait. Last Christmas we did um, a colour along. And we did, well we did uh, colour Christmas with me. We did. And we coloured in Lizzie Mary Cullen's Magical Christmas. I'm just going back through the colours now. And... Um, I think we use Black Widows in that. So we might have to crack open the Black Widows and do another Lizzie Mary Cullen Christmas time colouring, I'm thinking. I don't want that one. I want the grey lavender again. And I think we're kind of getting to the point where the paper's saying, I don't want any more, thank you. Like I said, I'll put his details back in in a minute. <sighs> okay. Gosh, that looks really bright blue in the camera. I hope it's not coming over like that. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more white in here. Just bring that round. Just so he's a bit... A little bit more white. There we go. Alright, that's his face. We're going to use slightly different colours for his body. We're going to put... So I'm going to use the black though first. And we're going to put that detail back in. So it's just black 935. And I'm just going to very gently... Put back in his little nostril and then his beautiful smile. My hands are very shaky so it's always risky. There we go. And his face. Okay, so I've got um, some different colours for his spikes. Um, around his head because they need to be darker. 
we're going to do his legs <coughs> in the same colour as his face I think and all the spikes will be darker I think that would make sense so let's have a go okay so I've got these three colours to try this with so I got um, Caribbean Sea 1103 can you see that Periwinkle Blue or Periwinkle 1025 and Indian Throne Blue 208 so I'm going to go in with the Caribbean Sea and we're going to try it on his little um, eyebrow type things here I'm going to put a coat of that down and this one so that they match then we're going to go in with Periwinkle so I'm using Periwinkle and we're going to start to build up that um, the dark parts so I'm just following round his eye bringing that up a little bit he's going to be darker because it's on the outside and then I'm going to go in with the Indian Throne Blue and we're going to put that in where it's really dark really lightly I'm, I'm using this really lightly I'm just going to turn you slightly so I'm going to bring that round his eye and then I'm just coming up into those little arched bits just to add a bit more interest there Okay, and we can go back in with our Caribbean Sea and just brighten the edge up there. Adorable. How cute is that? So, and then back in with the darkest, I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit because he is quite dark. Just deepening up that around his eye and I might put a little line of it there it will help to emphasise his eye when we get there ok there we go I think that's going to work so let's try these spikes on his head now so we're going to take the Caribbean Blue or Caribbean Sea I'm going to fill those spikes in. It's working so well now I've put that glaze on it. I'm really pleased with how it's uh, how it's now working. Okay, then we're going to go in with the periwinkle and I'm going to flick that up to about halfway. So we leave that Caribbean Sea at the bottom, which we'll go back in and deepen up. And make sure we filled in all the white of the paper. And then we're going to take the Indian Throne Blue and we're going to put that at the bottom. And darken that up the edge. Just so that really stands out and it gives us the definition between each of his spines I'm going to go round those his little fluffy bits on his eyebrow and down that side of that spine and bring that out round that eyebrow again I say eyebrow. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, then we'll go back in with our periwinkle and blend that in to that into the throne blue. And 
and then we'll take our Caribbean Sea and we'll go over it again and that will just brighten the whole thing up and help to smush those colours in if you remember not to press too hard and just let the layers build up there, I think he's looking cool. So we're going to have to go back to these pesky colours, the original colours that we used to build up his body, but actually, um, I'm just thinking, yeah, we'll do, we'll put the grade lavender over everywhere that I want, like the face colour to go. So I can only see his face in the book. So he needs smoothing out a little bit more around his face, but I can only see the face and the top of the head. So the body, I'm making up myself, but we're going to use the same colours. So I'm putting grey lavender. A coat of that over him. And I'm going to do his hoofs black, I think. And I don't know how this book would stand up to a little bit of stickles, but wouldn't it be cool if we could get some on there? There we go. That'll be it. The rest of it will be our spines, which we've just done. So we're now going to go in with the other colours that we've got. So a little bit of lilac. Um... Okay, we'll start building up those darker parts of him. A little bit of lilac. Bring that out. Remember we went over this to change that colour, so we've got more of a bluey, purpley colour. So yeah, as from December, the 1st of December, when we get there, we'll start doing our Christmas colour, um, colour Christmas with me. That will be good fun. So we can choose... I think last year I did a calendar, but um, I started doing a calendar, but I got so bored with it. And we voted to use our lovely Christmas books instead because there's so many beautiful Christmas pictures. Um, I didn't want them just sitting on the bookshelf for the rest of, you know, while we coloured a calendar the whole time. Okay, so I'm now going in with Blue Violet Lake. And we're going to go back over that. And allow that blue to come through and out. It was difficult to choose the colours um, for him, but I'm quite pleased. I want to do a little bit more blending on his face, just to smooth him out a bit. But I'm quite pleased with how they've come out. I hope you like them. I know there was um, one particular lovely lady that subscribes and talks to me on Facebook and things. She is way ahead of the game and has already done quite a bit of colouring in here. But for a book that I think was, what did I pay, £7 for it, for the hardback? I know there's a, a soft softback version. Um, I'm thrilled to bits with it. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and then we are going to, where's that blue that I had? Where have I put that, people? Haha, I got it. Then we're going to blend with cloud blue, the same as we did before. So we get that nice blue colour. But it will help to smooth everything over. Get 
getting a bit more confident with it now. So I just didn't know how it was going to respond when we started. And then we'll put that lovely Indian Throne, not Indian Throne, Imperial Violet on in the really dark places. He is looking so cute. Christmas Aurus. Okay, right. In with our dark Imperial Violet. And we'll start putting some um, where the deepest parts of him are, the deepest shadows. There you go. And his little belly. And the top, in between his, his joints on his legs. And he is beginning to come to life. A bit around here. A bit, on, a bit more here. Then we'll work backwards and we'll get our... Aha! They keep hiding. We will get our um, lilac. And we'll go back over that. And the rest will be in our dark blues. So now I'm getting the blue violet lake. Put some more of that in. Really let that come out. So I'm going back over everything we've coloured and bringing that blue violet lake back out. Okay and then just back in with the cloud blue to help smooth everything over. So anywhere that needs more blending, white spots on the paper filling up, just going back in with the cloud blue. And then just Imperial Violet, if you've lost any of that darkness. And there. A bit more under there. A bit more around there. And the joint of his leg. And where his tail, there. Okay. And then just keep, I'm just I'm just playing now until I'm happy with it, how it blends. A bit more of that violet colour, lilac, even Lucy. blue in there. So much smoother um, and easier to use than um, trying to use it as we were before. What a difference. And that book, I should, this bottle, I think would last us years I should think. We'll be able to use it in other colouring books too. Or who knows, the next storybook that comes along that we think 
that's amazing. Put those to one side. I'm going to take the white and I'm just going to again a bit more blending on his face. I just want that a little smoother. And we can blend this part too. I'll probably need to play with him a little bit more, but I'm really pleased with how he is coming out. And then I will go back over with outlining him in, in his black when we've got all the rest of the colours down. Right, let's have a look at go back to his spines now. So we can go back to Caribbean Sea and we're going to fill those spines up. We've got to avoid his Christmas book that he's holding. Or the naughty list. It must be the naughty list. So Caribbean Sea and I'm filling up any spikes that are about. <clears throat> and he's got some little bits going on down here. They can be dark blue. A little bit there. Have we got everything? I think so. All right, then back in with, <coughs> excuse me, Periwinkle. Let's get a sip of drink. We go in with the periwinkle and we do the same as we did before. We will just allow the colour to build up. Then the Indian Throne Blue. That will be at the base. I'm going to pick this side for it to be darker. So I'm just mixing between the three colours and just building that up. So I'm going to periwinkle round here. And then our dark on these, we need to keep the shape of the scale. Flaming dog. I'm not grumpy at all, people. Then I'm going to take my white. I'm just going to give it a quick sharpen. And I'm just going to highlight along this edge of the scale. Just so it stands out a little bit. There we go. And then in with our dark again. In and throw in blue. Periwinkle, you get the message. And then the uh, Caribbean Sea. Blend them. There we go. This bit's going to be very dark down here. And in there. It just leaves like a little V in between there. So we'll put that periwinkle in. And then back over with the Caribbean Sky. Sea, even. blend that through. What do you think? I think he's as cute as. Join that up. Yeah, very cute. So it's just making sure that I'm keeping that definition of the his scales. here 
<laughs> very cute, isn't he? Um, right. We've got some more here. So I'm going to do up the side, this side, with the dark. And there. And on this one. And then bring in the periwinkle. And then the Caribbean Sea. And then on these spots, I'm just going to use the two dark ones. So the periwinkle. I'm actually going to go back over with that periwinkle. And then I'm just going to sharpen this. So I'm going to use the Indian Throne Blue. just at the base and bring it up the side. And then I might just add a few little dots of texture in there. And run up the side of that tail. There, okay. And then we're going to do the same with these ones. So I'm going to make sure they're covered in periwinkle. And we are going to take the base and this side this time. And just add in that dark Indian throne blue. And around there, around his leg. And then back in with the periwinkle, just blend it through. Okay. One here. What do we think? I'm just going to define those a bit more. There. Right. Now, we'll fill in the black details in the minute, but we've got the naughty list. Now, this is Santa's naughty list, so I'm going to do it red. And we're going to keep note of these colours because we'll probably do Santa in them when Santa comes up in the book. So, I've got, actually, that way, from dark to light in the reds, I've got Raspberry 1030, Poppy Red 922, and Carmine Red 926. Just going to check, yeah, that is right. Okay, so I am going to cover the book in the lightest colour that I've got, which I think is that one. Yeah, which is Carmine Red 926. So. I've missed a little bit of a... a horn or whatever you call it, scale there to go back in and do that. So I'm just lightly covering it in the lightest colour that we've got. Avoiding those gilded bits. Um, this bit will be red. Oh no, will it erase? It'll be fine, we'll cover over it. <coughs> Let me get that bit done. This little horn. So, Caribbean Sea, Indian Throne Blue, we'll bring that down, and then our periwinkle. There. Just for a bit of definition. Right, so we've done the palest colour. Now we're going to go in with poppy red. And we're going to start to build that up. It's going to be deep around here. Now I'm hoping we could use a gel pen to put some gold on there. 
I don't know if it's worth the risk. Now I'm going back with our lightest colour which is Carmine Red. I'm going to blend that. Blend that through. Then I'm going to use the Raspberry, which is our darkest colour, and go give it that edging that the book needs. Okay, so in there, we're going to have dark in between that, the edging of the book, and round the clasp, round the top here, and down this side and then we can go back in and do it again so put our medium red in and then our light red and blend that all and then back in with our dark and we'll another dark strip down there so it looks like the binding of the book and then just deepen that up there we are. I'm just blending that raspberry out. And then back in. There we go. So now I don't know whether I dare risk gel pen. What do you think? So I've got um, I've got a Pentel dual metallic hybrid here but any gold gel pen would work. This is just gold and it's a Pentel dual metallic. Let's let me try and then if it doesn't work it's just that page and then you'll know. Right, so I'm just going to fill in that gold corner. Let's see. Nope, look, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wondrous. Okay. So, we can have a golden clasp. After all, this is from Santa. Isn't that cool? A little bit of gold on that edge of the book there. Then when that's dry, I'll go back in and do the black outline. And we'll make the pages a different colour. So, while we're waiting for that, let's look at his eye. Now. What colour could we do that? Let's try something really bright. So, let's try spring green that's a really bright color isn't it okay and that'll really stand out so i'm just going around the edges of his eye there spring green and then i'm going to take the black and i'm going to put really deepen that bit up and the corner here, just get round it. There, okay. Now his hoofs. Now, if that um, gel pen didn't go through then are we going to get away with using a little bit of stickles to sparkle things up a bit? Because there's like... wisps of snow or something. They look odd now. Let me take that um, that uh, Imperial Indian Throne Blue. Let's try blending that in. Into that black. A little bit of Indian Throne Blue. 
Let's kind of break up that. And then, what was the darkest colour we used on the skin was Imperial Violet. We'll just do that. Just want a bit of edging on that hoof. This looks a bit odd. There. Okay. Right. Going to have to let that dry before I can put any black detail in on the rest of the picture. And then I want a little bit of a, black, uh, of a background. Um, so I'm going to have to let that completely dry and then I'll be back. All right, folks, see you in a second. OK, so it's all dry. I went back in with a little bit of um, jelly roll glaze, just black. Uh, well, just jelly roll in black. Um, it's not a glaze. And just redefined his little eye and his lips and his nose. Now, we're going to have to focus on this background a little bit. So this is experimental for me. I hope you can pick up on the camera the darker patches of sky. So, there are darker and light patches, obviously, because it is a grayscale picture. I've got my white, which is 938, and I'm just going to pick out the very light bits that are here, where there are going to be breaks in cloud and flurries of snow. So I'm just going to put that white down and this will stop me going over heavy handed or going over with any other colour and being too dark. Like that. Where else? To move out of the shadows. Okay. A little bit of white. Now what I'm going to do is pick out the darkest part. So there's a dark bit here, round here, up here, and then I'm, so I'm going to use blue slate, which is 9024, and I'm just going for a light sort of blue snowy background. So I'm really lightly just adding this blue slate down where the darkest patches are. And I will blend it out, so I know it will look awful to start with, but I will blend it out. So this is blue slate, so I'm going over anywhere where I see that there are dark patches. And I did kind of, well you saw at the beginning, that I kind of did a square around him so that I could put a bit of, a bit of colour in the background. So just filling that in with this blue slate. Where there are these dark patches. Just try and see. And it is just really lightly because I'll blend it out with the next colour. Um, Okay, so the next colour I've got is 30% Cool Grey, which is 1061. And I'm going to go for the next depth of colour here. And I'm just following the illustrator's um, work. So... So I'm going back over that um, slate blue and I'm bringing this 30% cool grey out and I just want a very sort of wispy snowy background if that makes sense <laughs> so I didn't want um, there's my white there so I'm just going round that I didn't want really bright in your face colours, but so I'm just kind of making a snowy scene. Okay, so we've got those. And now I'm going to go in with 
I don't know what this is. It's one of the pale blue color colors. It's not cloud blue. So is it um, sky blue light, maybe? 1086. And then I'm going to avoid the white still, but I'm going to go over all that and, and smooth it out with the sky blue light. And any spaces other than the white with that. And then I will go back over everything, I think, with a bit of white, tone it down. And smooth it all out. Just going to kind of let that fade away. And then, because the... Um, I'm going to put a bit of white in there. Because the gel pen worked well, <clears throat> I think we can get away with some stickles on here. I don't see why not, people. Just checking you can see everything. I'm avoiding my white, little white patches that I put in at the start. A little bit of blue in there to bring that white out. And I'm going to go back over the white spaces, bring them out, add a few more in, and then just go over everything. Then we're going to add some stickles to this background, I think, sorry. Or we could use some glitter. I think I'll probably stick to uh, uh, stickles um, because I don't know how the glue will react. should be fine. but. bit more grey in around the white. Just bring that out. A bit more shadow from him. Just so those like white flurries show up a bit more. some grey in here. A bit more around here. And we're going to add a little bit of the brighter blue too. Oh, I've so enjoyed doing this, folks. I really have. I hope you stuck with me and that you like the idea of colouring in this book because it's such good fun. And now that I've found that that glaze works, it's just, oh, it's just, yeah, really enjoyed it. Sort of no pressure, bit of fun for Christmas. Blend that white out a little bit. There. Hee <laughs> hee, so cute. Right, I think that I'm happy with everything. I was going to take, yeah, a tiny little bit of putty beige. If you can see that. Try and get it so the light, there you go. Putty beige, which is 1083. And I'm just going to 
put that on the pages of the book. There. Just for a bit of colour. Just for a bit of added interest. Right, let's get the stickles. Um, that's Dove Craft. This is stickles. So I'm using um, Stickles Diamond, as I always do. I love Stickles Diamond. And I'm just going to shake it up. I'm going to go around where those white, I've put those white wisps. Or the lighter areas. It just. Just for a little bit of shine. Because we can, and it's Christmas. And he's the Christmasaurus. A little bit up here. Can't stop now. There. Right. Put, do the stickles back up. Let's lift him up. Can you see that gorgeous, oh, diamonds is, is subtle on a pale background, but it's so beautiful when it dries. So, let me come out a little bit. So there's our first page. I will keep a note of all the colours I've used. Um, but there's mine and there's the books. So, not too shabby. I'm quite pleased with how he came out. And I'm thrilled with this stuff. I will put a link down below so that if you want to get yourself some, you can. Absolutely worth every single penny. And of course it's not going to... It picks up every single glare it possibly can, but not a glitter. Not a sparkle off the... Yeah. Not a sparkle off the um, stickles. So there he is, the Christmasaurus. So, whenever you see him in the book now, and he appears quite a bit, we know how to colour him in. So I'm going to take note of all those colours and keep those. And we're going to work our way through the characters. Like I said, if... We'll come back in so you can see him properly. So if you can pick a bit of the... Shimmer up there. If um, I don't get much of a response, people don't want to watch it or whatever, I, like I say, I will do it with you on Facebook only. Um, <clears throat> which would be a real shame because I'm really enjoying it. But I'm going to put a bit of more stickles here. Yeah, I'll do it on Facebook only if people aren't enjoying it. But I've loved it. So I really hope that if you're watching the video, you can tell the enjoyment that I had doing him because, oh, yeah, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. All right, folks, I'm going to let you go. I will be back in, what day are we today? 25th. We might have time for another colour along before the end of the month's pages. Um, I'm not sure. I'll do my best. We'll see what happens. All right, my lovely friends, um, I'll let you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. So until we see each other again, take really, really good care of yourselves. Hopefully I'll have my Black Widows by then. <laughs> and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.